Konnichiwa. Welcome to today's class in Weapons Week. And if you've seen the video earlier on, you know that we are going to today learning how to use the Tonfa. We had a video up earlier on of how to make your own, hopefully you got a chance to. We've made them out of plastic pipe, you can make them out of wood, you can make them out of bits of wire. There's actually videos on YouTube of how to make tonfas and soy sauce even out of paper. Even the tube from a length of aluminium foil, etc. will work. So have a go with these, okay? The tonfa and L-shaped stick, these are plastic piping made, taped up with our tape as we showed you. And it's a Chinese weapon. They are a very, very powerful weapon, as these were made from hard wood, and they were used for striking, also used for blocking, and punching, etc., and hooking. We'll show you that. Tonfa, as far as I can remember, the word translates into small walking stick. We can see there's a little walking stick there. Okay, and they are a very, very good weapon for defending yourself. What we're going to do in this short video is I'm going to show you some basic grips and some basic strikes and blocks with them. Then I'm going to hand you over our Sensei Jesse Enkamp. Sensei Enkamp has kindly sent us a video to go through a kata with you on it as well. Now, if you get confused with the kata, don't worry. The reason Sensei Enkamp is coming in is this is a new weapon also for me, which also proves even if you're a black belt, you're still learning. Every day is learning. We've got the tonfa to get through. We've also got the soy to get through as well. And a knife kata as well. Sensei Brian will be able to show us over the coming months, okay? So lots of weapons. By the end of this, you will have your bow staff, your katana, your nunchucks, your tonfa, your soy, and your knife. Six different weapons, okay? And you'll be able to make all of your own. So let's talk about the tonfa. As we can see, we've got a long striking shaft and we've got a handle. The shaft should be roughly from your little finger to your elbow. And the grip, a little bit over. Normally a fist and two fingers and we've got a little bit sticking out the end. So the first thing we're gonna do, very simply the grip, like so. Very easy. There's no explaining that. And we've got one in on each hand. Now, when we're using the tonfa to block, which is the first defense thing we will do, we don't have it straight down our arm, okay? Because if somebody comes in here to strike, I'm gonna get here. So you want it slightly out to the side. So if somebody comes, you can hear that striking. So that's our first grip, like so, off to the side. And with everything that we've already done and all our blocks, we block up and back. Up and back. Okay, so let's try and get that. I'm just going to do four upward blocks because we all know how to block, but make sure your tonfa is in the correct position. It's not inside, it's not straight down, it's slightly off. Little finger to the outside of the elbow. And if you pull, you get your wrist to do that motion, it'll tuck it in against your arm. So we pull up to the outside of the elbow and hold it tight on both hands. You got it? Okay, so you're gonna step forward on the right, upward block on the right. And you can see, now you're someone who has, if you've made your bow staff this week, get someone in the house to gently come down with the bow staff strike practice over your head and you can block and you'll feel it tapping on the tonfa and not your arm. You can use two weapons at once. Okay, so let's go four times on the right, four times on the left. Ready? Each, block up and back. Knee, sun, and sheet. Simple. Okay, let's go on the left. Each, knee, good, sun, and sheet. Good, very, very simple, okay? Now, very often, you would block and want to strike, so the, the, the tonfu, ton tonfa, so I keep getting tongue tied, from here, as we would block, we would then look to come down as it is, it spins out. So we gotta practice just spinning back 
and four. So it means loosening your grip slightly. In and out. Now, the first time we're gonna try it, we're just going to, we're not gonna swing around, we're just gonna twist the hand. You open your hand and flick the wrist. So the wrist flicks. So from here, we spin. I nearly lost it there, because I'm watching the camera, not my grip. Watch your grip. Okay, back and back. Very simple, okay? So in front, remember to the outside, we go one, we go Japanese actually, ni, san, and shi, good. Hops the hand, each, hands get sweaty, ni, san, and shi, good. Now, when we block with that, block, as we come down with it, that swings, but we're gonna stop it halfway. So as we block up, this is gonna come down and strike. If we turn it to the bag, remember it's down the outside, up and boom, that's gonna come in. And as it's coming down, it's spinning. So not only is it striking in, that spin is getting extra power. So as it comes down, it comes here and it whips in. You imagine that's a big piece of stick or wood onto the jaw, side of the neck. Okay, downward striking down to the collarbone, it's gonna cause a lot of pain, a lot of damage. So, let's take it from here, up, and we're just gonna strike down. Let it, but as it comes down, it comes past your face, let that spin your grip till it comes back, because you can also strike back up. Okay, ready? Hand up. We blocked, so remember it's in against our arm. And strike each down to the hip. So you wait, swung around, back up, back to the block position. I'm in a small horse stance here. Knee, whip it down, back up. And you gotta get used to your grip here. Sun, down, back up, good. And she, down, back up. Let's try the other hand. So we're in a block position, it's down the outside of our arm. You gotta watch on, take it off, because it pushes your uh, tonfa away. And the other one is always in the block position, ready to move. Ready? From here, each, swing it down, back up. Knee, down, back up. They're gentle, but in real life, if you're being attacked, boom, strike down. That's gonna knock someone out or break their jaw. Sun, and back up. And each time it comes up, whip that back around to the block position. She back up, good. Okay, now, as with all our blocks, that's an inward block, we would have downward blocks, we can downward sweep this way. So what we're gonna do now is a downward strike and block. We've got a shin, our foot, or a bow staff coming towards us. From here, it sweeps down, and we can see it swings in. So as that comes down, it swings across. So we loosen in the grip again and we get back to that block position. That's our defense. It's doubling up the strength of our arm. We got a wooden pole now with the tonfa down, our, down the side of our arm. So from here, we're gonna come down. And the motion of our arm comes down. Down, a normal downward block is this, and that is also usual. There's dozens of blocks in this, out that way. Our normal downward block, but for the moment, we're gonna come from here, downward strike across. You imagine the kick and kick that across the shins, that's gonna break a leg. Ready? Right foot forward, and we go each, let it spin, back up, knee, back up, sun, back up, she, back up. And a lot of this is just getting used to the grip, because you gotta loosen your grip slightly for that to spin in your hand as you don't let go of it. The grip at the right place to stop it back in that block position. Opposite hand. Each, back up, knee, back up, sun, back up, and she, and back up, as he throws it away, slippery hands. Be careful with the tape, the glue sticks out of it, it gets sweaty hands, the slippery hands. Okay, that's two basic blocks, but now we know what position it should be in. Strikes, like a punch, we can step forward, and as you can see, the end piece is past my fist, so that piece of the tonfit is gonna strike 
That is going to hurt. No matter where it hits, you're stabbing a piece of wood. Exactly like we normally punch. Boom. In. We know these punches off by heart. Okay. Left foot forward. We're going to come. Big right punch. Ready? Each. Knee. Sun. She. And we turn as we do. So that's going in. And it's also been followed up by the fist. And the reason we turn there, boom, we can then come across. Boom. So we're already setting up here to whip across that last move we learned, that downward strike. And it's all about letting that tonfa swing in the hands. Okay. Opposite side. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Good. Moving on from there, we've got our figure of eight. Now, I'm not just swinging my hand, but as I come down, the time for swinging, it swings loose in my hand. See this motion? So as I come down again, we're not just getting a strike, but we're getting the whip motion. So figure of eight, like yesterday with our nunchuck, but you've got a slightly looser grip on this. So it can spin in the hand. So with a figure of eight, down and back, down and back. And since I end camp, we'll cover a lot more of this. Okay, let's try the opposite hand. Remember, always to the outside starting off. Down and back, figure of eight, let it swing. And these are gentle motions. If you're attacking somebody, these would be a lot stronger. Okay, now from here, our upward strike, we can spin. See that came up there? As it came up, it spins around. So you're making your arm longer. Boom, right up under the chin. You see lots of moves. So as your fist comes up, that spins up and we whip. Okay, so it comes from here, around, up. And back, and up, and back, up. So let's try our upward strike on the right, then the left. Okay, we're gonna step forward with it and up, back in, and always back to your position of cover on your arm. Ready? Each, and back. Knee, and back. Sun. And back. And she. And back. Let's go the opposite hand. Each. Back in. Knee. Back in. Sun. Back in. And she. Back in. All very simple stuff, but it's getting used to the motion of the tonfa in the hands. Okay. Last thing I'm going to work on then. Before we hand to the sense at the end camp, because we don't go too far in this today, is if you spin, you've got all that down. Now we've also got if we grip down further, that this here, we just drop to this side, okay? The cross piece can be used for blocking or hooking. If that comes around someone's head, okay, or from up here, has a downward weapon coming. I've done a hook, he follows up, it strikes down here. Then you can backhand, and this piece comes across the neck. So very simply, what we're gonna do with this one is, we're gonna hold it further down. We're gonna step forward, hook. So you're hooking towards you backhand. So hook in as if you're grabbing someone, you grab them behind the head to pull, as they come forward, boom, and your hand comes in and turns over for the way back and strike. And the grip is in the neck, throat, cheekbone, eye, temple, even into the ribs. Remember these would be solid wood. So we're going to step forward, hook, Back swing. Ready? Each. 
knee, sun, red sheet, opposite hand, each, knee, sun, and sheet. Okay, some basics. The main thing to get used to on these is that ready position. And we're ready to go. It's your yoey position. Like we are, we're in the spare. Yoey. Same with the tonfa, except covering the outside of the arm. Lots we can do with these as a weapon. It extends your arm, very powerful. What we're going to do now is we're going to hand you over to Sensei Yen Camp. And uh, he's going to take you through the next bit. Some of it will be handy enough, some of it you may find it difficult, don't worry. This is all new to all of us, we're all learning this one, including me. But it's good to learn new stuff, and it makes our Weapons Week interesting. Okay, so we'll hand you over to Sensei End Camp now. Today you're going to learn how to use these things, also known as Tomfa, one of the deadliest karate weapons you will ever come across. Actually, they're originally known as Tongguai in the Chinese dialect of Chuanzhou because that's where they originally come from. Ah, yeah. Mm. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of Hamahiga no Tomfa, one of the most important kata with the Tomfa. Then I'm going to teach you the basics, the kihon of how to actually use these things. And last but not least, you're going to see a video I shot here in my dojo about 10 years ago of how to use these against tie pads. And that's actually the full kata applied with impact. Keep watching. Now let's see how you can learn how to use the tomfa. I want to show you the basics and after that I want to show you a flow drill sequence of how to apply the kata that I just showed you against full contact tie pads. That's a flow drill I developed around 10 years ago. So the video quality is quite low because, well, cameras weren't as good back then. But still it will give you an idea of how to use this with impact. But first, let me show and teach you the basics. I want you to start on your right side with the reverse grip. The passive hand is at the hip and the other hand starts up here. We're going to start with diagonal strikes. Number one goes like this. See how I let it go and I extend it as I strike down. 45 degrees from outside to inside. And then I do the reverse. So I start up here and I go bam straight down at a 45 degree angle. And this could be blocks or it could be attacks. It looks like a sideways figure eight, okay? So again, I go one, two. Those are the two first techniques of the Kihon sequence. Then I go like this. This is a low sweeping block, a harai, which means sweeping in Japanese, or gedan barai uke, if you wanna use the complete name. So I go bam, like this. From this position, I do an inside, a yaku barai, this way. So these are two low blocks. From this position, I then strike over the top and I come straight down the middle, this way. Notice that my passive hand is still like this, okay? From the beginning, I go one, two, three, four, and see if you can use that hip motion as well, because these hips don't lie. From the beginning, I go one, two, three, four, and see if you can use that hip motion as well, because these hips don't lie.
From the beginning, I go one, two, three, four. And see if you can use that hip motion as well, because these hips don't lie. From the beginning, I go one, two, three, four. And see if you can use that hip motion as well, because these hips don't lie. Now from here, I did this strike, right? Now, I'm gonna do a tricky move, okay? From this position, I'm just gonna flip it up this way. So imagine I'm striking somebody uh, and they block with a staff. That means I can then reverse the motion and hit them from below on their jaw, bam, like that. So I did one, two, and now from this position, I do an outside strike from the top. Really important here is that you squeeze and get that tension in your tonfa, otherwise you will feel that it just is uncontrollable. Okay. From the beginning, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, From the beginning, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From the beginning, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From the beginning, one more time. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Now I pull it back and I let it rest on my elbow this way as a way to control it. Because now I'm gonna go from the outside, I'm gonna strike one, two. Straight horizontally, just like this. One, two. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now the last one is just a classic punch. Bam! this way. And that's the whole Kihon sequence. Now I pull it back and I let it rest on my elbow this way as a way to control it. Because now I'm gonna go from the outside, I'm gonna strike one, two. Straight horizontally, just like this. One, two. Okay, again, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now the last one is just a classic punch. Bam! This way. And that's the whole Kihon sequence. Now I pull it back and I let it rest on my elbow this way as a way to control it. Because now I'm gonna go from the outside, I'm gonna strike one, two. Straight horizontally, just like this. One, two. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now the last one is just a classic punch. Bam! This way. And that's the whole Kihon sequence. Now I pull it back and I let it rest on my elbow this way as a way to control it. Because now I'm gonna go from the outside, I'm gonna strike one, two. Straight horizontally, just like this. One, two. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now the last one is just a classic punch. Bam! This way. And that's the whole Kihon sequence. Now, with that being said, here's the video of the full Hamaihiga Kata applied in a flow drill sequence against tie pads. And those are really thick, which means that you can really smack that thing.
taking you on a little road trip right now to a nearby beach because Hamahiga, the name of the kata, is actually an island just uh, a couple of hours drive from Naha, which is the main city in Okinawa. And I once went to this island when I studied at Okinawa University and had an awesome barbecue at that beach. And of course, that's where this kata comes from. So that's why we're going to a beach right now in honor of Hamahiga no Tonfa. Fun fact, the Chinese translation for Tonfa is actually small walking stick. Makes sense when you think about it, right? It's like a small walking stick. Anyway, back to the dojo. Okay, well hopefully that was interesting for you. I want to thank Sensei Income for jumping on and helping us out with that. Practice that one. As you can see, he's using the full wooden tonfa. You can see how powerful it is. You can see how he has practiced his speed and his movement. And you've got some of your Japanese terms in there. Okay, have fun with it, be safe with it. If you want to get really adventurous, you can make it out of wood, get your parents to help you. But please, as we said all week with our weapons exercises, please don't smash the house up and don't smash each other up, okay? And um, practice with all of them. What we do on Friday is we put up all the videos again on Friday. You can watch them on demand of all the weapons this week. And we'll keep them in the memory as much as we can. Okay, so well done guys, hope you had fun with that. Double, arigato, sayonara.